what up YouTube, knowledge and self-determination. Real quick, wanted to do um I wanna try to I wanna try to do as much um as I can for all these fights. There's so many fights coming on this weekend. So real quick I'm gonna jump on to the Ryan Walsh and uh, Marcos McCullough fight. I think this is gonna be um I I, I guess this is gonna I guess it's gonna be a, a pretty action packed fight. Ryan Walsh is a come forward type guy, you know, um he he he, uh, he pretty much fights at almost the same pace throughout throughout his fights for the most part from what I've seen. Um, uh, he he uh, uh, he's he's a bit right hand happy, you know. He um, throws a lot of right hand punches. He switches from orthodox to southpaw, you know. Um, and um, while he 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 is a fighter, he can't fight. He's not the most polished guy. His fundamentals it would seem aren't the greatest, he doesn't have the greatest skill set, he's there to be hit, you know, um, he doesn't have real fast hands, or, or even a whole lot of real flashy combinations, anything like that, anything eye-catching, um, however, for the featherweight division, he's, he has 40, he, uh, has a 42% knockout ratio, so, um, so he is, you know, getting some guys out of there, you know, but, um, I don't think he's a world beater, um, I don't think he can be, uh, without a doubt, I don't believe he can be Regan Diaz. He fight. He gets in the ring with Rigan Man, he it, it it's lights out for that kid. Basically, you know what I'm saying. It's lights out. Um. Uh. Now also now now being in at the 126 division, um, I don't think he can beat Rigan out. Now let's move it up a notch and, and let's talk about Vasil Lomachenko. You can't beat Vasil Lomachenko. I don't see that happening. Um, would it be a good fight? Would he go in there to fight? Yeah, I, I believe so. But I just think Vasil Lomachenko is on a whole different level so far as the skill set is concerned. Um, but I, I think this will be a pretty interesting fight. I actually think Ryan Walsh will win this fight. Um, Marcus McCullough has been stopped two times already. Um, the guy he fought before this fight tomorrow, um, uh, Leonel Hernandez, was 19, 10 and 19, right? And let's just take a real quick look at this guy. He had lost six fights. Five. He lost five fights before he fought Marcos McClellan. You know, so I don't think that that guy was good enough competition to get him ready for, uh, for for Ryan Walsh. And it looks like he fought this guy at 135. So he fought this he fought this guy at um at lightweight. Um. So he looks like he has to come down in some weight to actually uh to actually to actually uh be ready for the fight tomorrow. But I don't think uh, Marcos McClellan is going to beat Ryan Walsh. I think Ryan Walsh probably, I, I think Brian, Ryan Walsh stands a good chance of stopping this dude. Um, I'm not familiar with Marcos McClellan, but Ryan Walsh, Walsh um, is the brother of Liam Walsh, who is fighting Javante Tank Davis tomorrow. Um, he, he's a come forward type guy. He's tough. He's gritty. You know, he looks like he doesn't have any quit in him. You know, um, I'm not all that impressed with his skill set. However, the guy comes to fight, you know, and he's going to give it his best. I do know that. He, he, he's too happy with his right hand. Um, his timing doesn't really seem to be all that, and he's there to be hit. But with that said, though, the guy's tough, and he's going to try, he's gonna try and bang with you. Um, I think Ryan Walsh wins this fight with Marcos, with Marco McCullough. Um, his resume isn't all that impressive. Like I said, before the Ryan Walsh fight, he fought a guy that was 10 and 19. And before he fought Marcos McCullough, the guy that was 10 and 19, Leonel Hernandez, he lost five straight fights before he fought Marcos McClellan. So that guy didn't really get him ready for Ryan Walsh. And in Ryan Walsh, um, he has two losses on his record. He lost his last fight to Demis um, Sealand. Um, he beat James Tennyson. He beat uh, Darren Trainer. Stopped both of those guys in the fifth round. Um, and he actually got hurt in a Darren Trainer fight. He actually got hurt. He almost got dropped in that fight. He got rocked pretty good with a right hand. Um, the James Tennyson fight. Um, but I noticed with uh, with Ryan Walsh, he doesn't see he's not and Liam Walsh. I noticed this too. While they both do switch from orthodox to uh, southpaw, they both seem to be uncomfortable on the inside and with guys who put on a lot of pressure. You know, put on a lot of pressure. So in the next video, I'll do a breakdown of Liam Walsh and Devontae Tank Davis real quick. But there's a lot of fights that I want to try and um, get my opinion on. So I'm not going to make these videos but so long. So that's what I think about the Ryan Walsh and uh, Marco McClellan fight. I think Ryan Walsh is going to beat this guy. I think he's going to. Um, because this is a this is a BB, BBBFC British featherweight title. I think Ryan Walsh is actually going to come back with that title. Um, I think he he'll probably stop Marco McClellan within maybe the tenth round or so. Within ten rounds, I think he can stop this dude. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it went the distance, but I got Ryan Walsh in this fight. Uh, 
So stay tuned for my um, really quick breakdown of the Liam Walsh and Javante Tate Davis fight. Peace.